from an official copy of the Declaration of Independence worth over $2 million to a box of baseball cards estimated to be worth over $3 million. We take a look at 10 garage sale items that sold for millions. Number 10. Pablo Picasso Painting Shreveport, Louisiana isn't exactly known as a hotbed of fine art, so who would have guessed that someone would stumble upon an original Picasso there? Well, in 2009, Edith Parker, who thought the painting to be a fake, sold it to Tisha McNeil for $2, and it was even signed by the artist. The seller, Edith Parker, was quoted as saying, well, it don't look like much, and it was in this cheap little frame. The original Picasso is valued at an estimated $2 million. Number 9. Magnolias on Gold Velvet Cloth While 19th century American painter Martin Johnson Head isn't quite the household name as Picasso, his paintings are quite valuable. An Indiana man in his 30s who works at a tool and dye company had one of Head's paintings hanging up to cover a hole in the wall. He ended up playing the game Masterpiece, a board game about art, which includes an image of a painting similar to the one on his wall. Eventually, he put two and two together and contacted the Museum of Fine Arts in Houston, who paid him $1.25 million. Number 8. Declaration of Independence An analyst from Philadelphia purchased a faded oil painting for $4 at a flea market. Stowed away beneath the painting was a folded print of the Declaration of Independence. A friend of the buyer suggested that the man have the document appraised, and as it turned out, this ragged piece of paper was one of only 500 official copies of the Declaration's first printing. Increasing the value was the fact that of those 500 copies, only 23 were known to have survived. The print was estimated at $1.2 million, but in 1991, ended up selling at auction for more than double that, an astounding $2.42 million. Number 7. The Old Vase When a family member passes, it's never an easy situation. You go through the belongings, deciding what to keep and what to get rid of. In Pinner, UK, a brother and sister were cleaning out the house after the death of their parents. They discovered an old vase that they figured might be worth something, so they took it to have it appraised. They were astounded when the local auctioneer valued it between 800,000 and 1.2 million pounds. They were even more blown away by the reaction from Chinese buyers. When the vase went to auction, a 30-minute bidding war ensued, and the price soared to a record 43 million pounds. And that doesn't even count the commission and VAT on the commission, which brought the grand total to £53,105,000. Number 6. Coca-Cola Stock Certificate 2008, California, United States Tony Marone had a $5 bill burning a hole in his pocket. So what better to spend it on than a box of documents at a neighborhood garage sale? While he was thumbing through his newly found treasure, he noticed a document from 1917. It was labeled Palmer Union Oil Company, 1,625 shares. This piqued Marone's interest, so he did a little investigating. Eventually, Marone discovered that this company, Palmer Union Oil, merged with another company, and then that company merged with Coca-Cola. Because of the double merger, his twice-merged shares would entitle him to 1.8 million shares, or an estimated $130 million. Number 5. Mazarin Chest Oriental art and furniture are well-built and durable. This Japanese lacquer box from the 17th century was a masterpiece even back then, and even 400 years later, it's strong enough to support a heavy TV. This is now known as the Mazarin Chest. It was long believed that the largest of the two Mazarin's golden chests was lost. It was later revealed that the chest was sold for $160 to a French engineer in 1970. He slapped it in his apartment and used it as a TV stand in his South Kensington flat. It stayed there for roughly 16 years. Philippe Riac eventually found Mazarin's lost golden chest in a house in Terrain, being used as a liquor cabinet of sorts. It eventually sold at auction for 7.3 million euros. Number 4. Jackson Pollock Painting 
you never know what you're going to find at the local yard sale. In the mid-1990s, Terry Horton, a former long-haul truck driver, drove a hard bargain and purchased the ugly painting from the local yard sale. Not having any practical use for the painting, Horton considered selling it, until a friend recognized traces of an artistic style from painter Jackson Pollock. So Horton figured, why not? Let's hire a forensic art expert. Paul Biro did some investigating, including taking fingerprints from the frame and print. He was able to match a partial fingerprint on the painting to one from Jackson Pollock's studio, confirming that it was an original Jackson Pollock painting. Its value is now estimated at about $50 million. Number 3. Baseball Cards Baseball card collectors everywhere became jealous of Carl Kistner and Carla Hench, who were cleaning out the attic of their late grandfather's house in Defiance, Ohio, only to find a dream collection of baseball cards. The two cousins stumbled on a soot-covered cardboard box underneath a wooden dollhouse. In the box were around 700 baseball cards, dating back to the year 1910. They have since been valued at up to $3 million, and some experts consider this the most incredible and rare find of baseball cards in history. Number 2. Imperial Fabergé Egg Flea markets offer all sorts of unique and crazy items. In 2004, an unidentified man purchased a golden egg at a flea market. He initially figured he would sell it for scrap value, but ended up holding on to it for about 10 years. He then discovered that this was one of eight missing Imperial Fabergé eggs. So who do you contact when you find out you have a rare artifact on your hands? Apparently, that person is Kieran McCarthy, an expert in Russian artifacts. McCarthy vividly remembers the phone call from the unidentified man, because he claims his spine was shivering as he heard the news. He estimated the egg's value at nearly $30 million. Number 1. The Bowl A family from New York was browsing a garage sale and saw a neat-looking Chinese bowl. They slapped their $3 on the counter and took the bowl home, only to find out that it's actually a 1,000-year-old treasure worth an estimated $2.2 million. The ceramic bowl, approximately 5 inches across, has a sawtooth pattern etched around the outside. It was eventually purchased by a London dealer at Sotheby's Auction House in New York in 2013. Experts at Sotheby's identified the bowl as being from the Northern Song Dynasty which ruled China from 960 to 1127. Remember to hit the subscribe button for more videos every week.